All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to modify arm operation to add your own buildings to it, custom workshops or whatever you want to do. Here, this is actually not a custom workshop. This is a default standard built-in building, which I should have a model for already, but I don't. I'll be making one now. These are the one on the right is a coffin, the one on the left is a slab. All these, the rest of these question marks are all coffins. So I'm going to be making a coffin right now and show you how to add it into our mock vision. I'll close this down and open up 3ds Max. I use 3ds Max because that's what I use at work, as well as I know. But you can probably do all, you must be able to do all of this in Blender. I just don't know how to use Blender, which is why I'm not using this with it in this tutorial. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import the floor tile from Armand Vision. And Dwarf Fortress, Armand Vision, Armand Vision Data, Resource, no. Streaming Assets, Tile Meshes, and then floor.obj. What's important here, at least for 3ds Max, I don't know about other programs, is flipping the Y and Z axis because if 3ds Max uses Z is up, while Unity, and therefore Armok Vision, use Y is up. So this flips them around to make sure that the model is upright. Unfortunately, this also means that it's mirrored, but in this case, it doesn't really matter very much. Okay, the rest doesn't really matter. Import. And now we have a floor. Since all constructions in Dwarf Fortress generally are on top of the floor, so we'll be making our model on top of this. Okay, start with polygon. Hexagon, because that's roughly how that's roughly how coffins are shaped. Corner. Mm -hmm. This at the center and Z is 0.5 meters. That's the height of the floor. I see here and now. Now that's sitting on the floor. Update these. Move these around. Move these a bit up. Move these a bit down. Move this up here. Make this a little skinnier. Here we go. This looks like a coffin. Just uh, adjust it to fit the uh, width of the one tile. Mm -hmm. Extrude mm. half a meter. Oh, here we go. Basic coffin. Simple model, but it works. So, since all the models in Armok Vision need to use the same origin, at least as far as I know, I'm just I'm just going to add the coffin model, coffin mesh onto the floor, attach on here. And now select this, delete the original floor, and rename from static material, which is anything, any object that gets material from the ground, to the building material. This means that it's part of a building, and it takes the material and textures from the building type. I'll export this, export 
to again to our fortress, our mock vision, our mock vision data, streaming assets, building meshes, set file type to OBJ. Put it call it coffin. Again, flip Y and Z axis. I don't export the materials because I don't need them. They're not used. Wait, I missed one port one thing actually. Cancel this. UV mapping. This is kind of important. I'm putting a cube mapping so that I mean, basically each the projector is projected from each side of this cube. That way. It prevents any uh, scaling issues with the texture, like one side being squished or whatever, which looks funny. So whatever the texture will implied onto this uh, coffin will be whatever the material it's made out of. So if it's made out of wood, it'll get like a wood grain texture on there, colored according to whatever wood type it is. And if it's rock, it'll get a rough stone texture on there, also colored according to rock type. Export it again. Building meshes, OBJ. Coffin. Name it coffin. Export. Flip Y and Z axis is turned on. And export. Done. Now we're done with 3ds Max for now. Now, before we are able to put it inside the game, we need to know uh, what actually is the token for the coffin. And since I don't have it memorized, there's two ways you can you can find out using the debug stuff down at the bottom here. First, one option is draw debug info within Armok Vision where you can just click on a tile and see what all information that's available for it, which I will turn on now. And then another, the other option is to save building list. I'll turn this on also. This, yeah, config.json here has, as you may have guessed, all the options that are inside Arm Equation. Open it up. And now, uh, yes. Okay, so now that we have enabled the debug view, if we click on this question mark here, we'll see over here it says building coffin. So that coffin here is the name that we will need. Easy enough to remember, no capitalization on this one. Although material is all capitals, like in as they are in Dwarf Fortress Raws. So we got what we needed, close this. And here is a buildinglist.csv file that was generated. According, this will have this contains the list of every single building type in the game, including custom workshops if you have them um, uh, in your RAWs. So that. This is just loaded from Door Fortress when it starts and written out in the file. You don't need this right now, though. So go into Armor Creation Data, Streaming Assets, Building Meshes, and these are all the existing building meshes plus the one that we saved, Coffin. So I can either 
add the coffin to the existing building meshes XML file, which I would do if uh, while I'm doing normal development. But if you're making, say, for example, custom buildings for your mod, you probably want to make your own file. So I'll copy this. Give it a name. I'm calling this buildings underscore dropper.xml. Copy this whole thing. And then open index.txt, which has all of the XML files listed in here that it needs to load. I'll just paste this here at the end. Now, any of these lines can be commented out by putting a hash at the beginning. Say, for example, if you want to uh, just block out any existing buildings. So open this one up. And delete all the rest, of, all the existing stuff. This is getting messy. Okay, so now we have just the bare bones XML file with one pre-existing building definition, which is a chair. So change this to coffin. Copy the name here. Coffin.obj. And building, token, building type token is also coffin. So I'll save that. Now, there, besides setting the OBJ, there is other things you can set here, like, for example, textures and normal maps and ambient occlusion maps. It's like, for example, here is the ambient occlusion map for a hatch cover that I made. And the normal map and the metallic map. and so on, and specular map. Those all can be set per model for any type of mesh in the, that's used by our vision. But we've done that, we've done the coffin. Now let's load it up and see how it looks. Here we go. Here's the coffins. Now one thing you may notice, all of these coffins are facing the same way. No matter which way they're actual orientation would be. So since Door Fortress itself doesn't have any information about the which way they're facing, there is... I made it into our mock vision a way to face away from the neighboring walls. So we're going to add that to the bed. Go to here, building meshes. And I'll just copy it from the bed. So here, rotation away from wall. Open up Armog Vision again for testing.
And here they are. Here they're all facing away from the walls. All, they're all facing outwards from the little alcoves. And that's it. Thanks for watching.